I thought I thought the first vlog went well. Yeah, I would you, agree. Would you agree? Two and a half thousand views on Facebook, episode one. We're trying to do and be, present the, the beautiful thing about entrepreneurship that it isn't beautiful. It isn't flash cars and, and running around and hugging people at events. So, so, here's, so here's episode two. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> We're gonna talk about vision. What is the vision of this thing? What is the vision of what I'm trying to achieve? And actually in the crux of it, every person should have a proper vision, when, especially when they're running a business. And for me, that was always wrongly I wanted an island. I wanted a fucking island. I wanted to be Richard Branson and I wanted an island. I even said it at the beginning part of my book in the first few chapters that I want an island and it's my screensaver and I think about it every day. Or I, I said it on my apprentice um, opening salvo, you know the bits where they do the interviews where they say, you know, oh I'm gonna be a tiger and I'm gonna, you know, take everybody out, I'm gonna be Churchill and I'm gonna be, you know, and I said, oh I'm gonna have an island and I'm gonna call it Dickie's World. What am I doing my first billion? And my first billion, I'd buy myself a private island and I'd sit on there and I'd call it Dickie's World. Dickie's World, my name being Richard, my wife calls me Dickie, uh, would be the most fun, brilliant place in the world. You could come and chill out, discuss the day's thing. Richard Branson wouldn't even have anything on Dickie's world. Necker Island. Nah. I never did I think about how stupid Dickie's world was going to be. I mean, but um, but actually that's a load of bollocks because when Branson, Bran did you think Branson ever had Necker Island as his vision? No, of course he didn't. He, he had, the Virgin Empire had its vision and he wanted to have a customer centric brand that was cool and edgy and brought um, the customer front and centre for everything that he did and, and, and travel that just happened to be the thing that he pushed it through or, or Ref Virgin Records just happens to be the platform that he pushed it through. I want to go back to basics and rip up my old visions and think, what do I want to do? And, and to be honest with you, I love the quote, if you want to change someone's life, change their day first. And the way that I think that I can really change someone's day is really help them with lead generation and lead generation is what we do. And I want to be a leading authority on lead generation globally. Now that's a, that's a big vision, globally, the leading authority and lead generation. But, but I think you can break these visions down because I don't want to achieve that next year and I thought, in three years time, I'm going to be the global authority and lead generation. So no, I mean, these guys are years and years ahead. People like Russell, Russell Bronson or Ryan Dice, you know, are massive, massive lead generators that are coming out of the States, big authorities on marketing. And I'm not going to beat them in three years, that'd be ridiculous. But what I can do is break down what they've done to get to where they have got to. And then you start creating almost like a, a to-do list to start actually chasing and getting those pieces into my sort of assets. I've done this, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. But also I think from the point of this vlog, I want to be honest. I want to be, I want to, I want to be, I want to be honest with everybody, Opebble. And I want to show them exactly where we're starting from because if I'm going to be the global lead generator, then let's go on. Let's go on a journey. Let's go on a. Let's go on a journey together. There. Let's go. Let's go there together. And let let me let me be let me be 100 percent honest. Look, the laptop's not even on. It's not even my. This isn't even my desk. This isn't even. It isn't my desk. Do you want to see the desk? Let's let's. I'll, look, I'll show you the desk. I'll show. You, let's show you the desk. We can plant here and all this stupid stuff. Never again are we ever going to start behind that desk. Do this properly from now on. Come have a look at my proper desk. This is the square root of the, of the sign that we've got for the Yomp office. Hey guys, we're showing the desk. This is, this is the desk here. This is, this is where the action happens. You can see that this, there's 11 other desks like it, but this one's mine. And this is, this is where I run the empire from. This is proper, not the brown one upstairs. Tim, Tim's desk's next to me. He's got two screens, pisses me off. Um, but you know, <laughs> life's, life's bitch. <laughs> Let me show you the whip. Now this is, you'd expect the leading authority or lead generation to have the Lamborghini out. It's a Renault Espace. My Renault Espace, my mum had one and uh, I really liked it. So I got one and it's good. Let's go for a drive, oh Pebble.
So the, the leading authority on, on lead generation need, needs a Renault Espace. And, and if you look in the back, you'll see half the reason why. Proper. You've got, you've got to have baby seats. You, you, I mean, how else are you going to take the kids around? No, I, I don't want to get into the Instagram culture. I'm trying to break the culture of you've got to drive around in a Lamborghini to do all these sort of things. Here's my Renault Espace. And I'm I'm kind of proud of it. I don't really I don't really want to always drive it, but it's all right. You know, it's it's a symbol of me not giving a shit because I want to grow and become a great business owner and be about the lead generation side. And the things will come later, and that's fine. And that and that and that's the commitment making. And I think that's the most important thing for me about this vlog is to show the progression. And I know I'd love in a year or two's time for us to be getting into a Lamborghini. I'm not even joking, I mean, I'd love, I'd love to be doing that, but actually for us to have documented what that meant and why, but not glorifying it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna glorify, I just want it to just become natural part of it. And would I, actually, would it, honestly, would I have a Lamborghini? No, I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't. So the real lesson to take away from today is that you've gotta to hustle until you drive a Renault Espace. <laughs>